Welcome to another video. Welcome to another additive synth video. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. This is not showcasing any of the features of the new synth. He's, he's effectively finished, minus a few bug tweaks. Um, today we're going to do a bit of sound design on the additive synth. So far in the previous videos I've done things like um, a trumpet or a horn sound, a clarinet sound, you know, some of the, the, the simpler sort of ones that almost mimic subtractive synths. You know, we're emulating a filter, we're emulating a sawtooth, etc. Uh, we've also done things like the chime sound, which is very similar to the FM chime. We're using high frequencies um, to create a, a, a chime. Uh, we've done a few other interesting things. Today, we're going to try and tackle one of the sounds, which is always... I've never really had a really good sounding string instrument. Okay, I can do plucks. Plucks are really simple. It's a it's a sawtooth with a, a very fast attack and it just decays off. Yes, you, you can do a guitar or a, a plucked string instrument. That's easy. What about a stringed instrument, a bowed string instrument, which is actually playing a melody? Something like a cello. I always like cellos. So let's try that. Now, I did a little bit of research and I looked up online and I saw the FFT for a, a cello note. Um, and basically, it actually is, it's interesting, it's like a combination of two waveforms. So I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll plug it in, and then we can have a look. So, harmonic 1 is at 100%. 2 is at 100%. 3 is at 50%. 4 is at 50%. Nothing on 5, 6 is on a third. 33%. So Okay, doesn't look like the wave in the book, and do you know why? Because they also are out of phase. So, if you think about it carefully, we've got a, a, a sort of a filtered sawtooth. So we've got Frequencies 1, 3, and 5 are, sorry, the square wave. 1, 3, and 5 is normally a square. So we've got 1 and 3, okay? 1 is at, a, is at full, half, even though it should be a, a third, and no 5. And then we've also got 2, 4, and 6. Now, when you think about that carefully, if the frequency is 2, then the next harmonic is going to be at 4, and the next harmonic is going to be at 6. So we have 2, 4, and 6. At 100%, at 50%, at a third. So that is actually, it's a filtered sawtooth. Okay, but the trick here is, one of these is the opposite phase to what you'd expect. So here we have, that doesn't look anything like a note. So we'll say, let's make the sawtooth. So phase, we've made 100%. Well, 180 degrees out of phase, immediately it has a different shape. We'll do the same for 4 and 6. Now if you were to look up online, that's well, close enough to a sort of a cello-y sound. Now, it still doesn't sound like a cello, but if you hold the note down, it doesn't sound dissimilar to a, a bowed string. Now there's no interesting uh, envelope on there, it's just... So, let's now put the envelope. Now the trick is, there's actually no filtering at all here, uh, for, from memory. It's just getting louder and softer. So what we want to do is, we want an attack, we don't want an instant, that's like a pluck, we want a a ramp up and a ramp down. So let's just make it really simple. So we're going to first of all um, oscillator one attack. We'll make it two. I don't want it instant. Two, two, three, two, four, two, six, two. So when we press it, it's already starting to sound a little. Uh, the, the onset sounding good. Let's let's make the the note coming off now. Now in this case, I'm actually going to make it a little bit longer because when you uh, lift the bow up, it normally hangs around for a little bit. So let's try instead of two, let's try three. So attack, release. So one, release three, two, release three, 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 four, three, 
six three. Now we can play around with this later. <laughs> already sounding pretty close. Now we we'll just double check. I'm going to make sure that we special let's make now we're quantized. So nothing else, just a little bit of attack, a little bit of release, and a waveform which is similar enough to a cello. We've got our so Let's just put, now we're not putting much, just a little bit of reverb, because it, it makes it sound like it's in a real room. So we can now get... And there, I'll just turn the reverb off. There's the start of a cello, and you know what? That's closer than probably any cello sound I've ever got before. And that was super simple. So with our additive synth, we can pretty much dial up a wave um, from the frequencies. We can put a bit of an envelope on and um, yeah, make it sound good straight off. So what we're going to do, just let's just have a play. I think we've got to leave the note on a little bit longer. And what we might do is just leave the first two frequencies on. So... Now there's no filtering, there's no difference of how long it takes for notes to go, or to the harmonics to go off, so there's no filtering, it's just getting louder and softer. But let's do, we're going to say oscillator 1, release, is 4 instead of 3, 2 is 4. Now I don't know if you can see, so instead of everything going down at the same time, see that the first, the last three harmonics go down first. Not really a filter, just a little bit to make it more interesting. Now the next thing, okay, let's also, when you first start off, um, maybe you want that initial kick of the bow, so we're going to put in um, a sustain value. So what we're going to do is we'll, we'll put the sustain at say, oh, let's just, let's just try four, oh three, let's do three, so um, attack, release, sustain decay. So one, hold, three, two, three, four, and six. Let's see what that... Now you can probably notice already, yes we've got the sustain, you can see it, but it's taking a long, uh, it's taking very little time to sustain, uh, to decay, sorry. So it, it sounds a bit unnatural. So what we need to do is increase the decay time. So let's try um, decay of two. Now if you notice, I'm not doing five because it's not an oscillator. Still a bit fast. Let's try... Well, let's go to three. So one to three, two to three. I'll turn that thing on again. Three to three. Did I do two to three? Yeah. Four to three and six to three. I'm just going to do two again because I can't remember that I did it properly. Turn the oscilloscope back on. And I managed to turn Paul to Mento on. Okay, still a bit, a bit fast, so let's do it again. So one, we'll do four this time. Much better. So now I'll put a bit more reverb, or bit, some reverb on, Oops. and just see if that's made any difference. Mm -hmm. 
and yes you could keep playing around with it and um, I've also done things like I have put a little bit of filtering in so for example I've made the higher frequencies go off uh, quicker just for fun but yeah this just shows you with the little additive synth sounds like that they're actually pretty difficult to do on a subtractive synth you have to start adding waveforms together you have to try and tune them together properly and get them not beating um, you then uh, you can't sort of have a filter halfway through so for example I've got a square wave which is filtered more uh, ha or harder than the sawtooth so it's sort of it almost needs two filters so just to get that to that sort of sound um, is actually quite quite tricky but on the little additive synth doesn't seem to be a problem now this was just a very quick one it's just another sound design using additive synths um, and just hopefully well now that the source is up on github hopefully people are sort of starting to have a look at it um, I don't have a circuit board or anything I just did a, a prototype board um, but it's pretty simple there's only five wires that come in the, the sixth pin I didn't touch because that's the reset line and I kept on resetting it I didn't get the voltages well, they weren't enough, <clears throat> so I left that one alone. So there's only five inputs, so there's three outputs, one for all of the buttons and one for the potentiometer. Um, the little board I have has a five volt regulator, so a nine volt battery is good enough for that. Um, and that's it, really. So um, I'll leave you with that. So let's 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 really crank the reverb up. So we're in a big church. Keep hitting that wire. So. Again, the same. Now, even though it's not the right thing, let's see if we can make it go up a bit, see if we get a violin y type sound. Not perfect and yes you could play around with it but that's if you go a bit higher there's a, a violin yeah I'll leave you with that um, hopefully that's been uh, useful someone can use that on their own and um, we'll see you in the next one okay bye